Hi everybody, this is Alan Elman, the Blue Collar Investor, welcoming you to another one of my videos, this one on exit strategies, and in particular, rolling strategies on or near expiration Friday. We use this strategy when the stock we own is currently valued higher than the strike price that we sold in the current option month, and we may want to hold on to that stock. So let's first take a look at the requirements to even consider rolling strategies <clears throat> on or near expiration Friday. First, as I said, the market value must be above the current strike sold. Let's say we bought a stock at 48, sold the 50 call, and now on expiration Friday, the stock is trading at 52. Well, we know those shares will be assigned if we take no action and we may want to hold on to the stock and not let it get sold. The stock also still must meet our fundamental and technical system requirements. Those of you who read my books and listened to my DVDs know what those are for the BCI system. Now, very important, there can't be an upcoming earnings report in the next cycle. We never sell a covered call option through an earnings report. It's simply not to our advantage. Finally, the calculations must meet our goals. In my case, I want to see a 2 to 4 percent return each month. The stock that I chose for today's example is F5 Networks, ticker symbol FFIV, which is a stock that's been in my portfolio for a good part of the last two years. And at the time, making this video it's actually still in my portfolio. So let's first take a look at to see whether or not there's an earnings report. I already checked to make sure that the stock was still fundamentally sound. A free site that we could use that's excellent for this is earningswhispers.com. Those of you who are premium members with the Blue Collar Investor, I've circled in red where you could find earnings report information on all the stocks that's in our current watch list. In this case, FFIV reports January 20th, and that's well beyond when the December options expire. Taking a look at the chart at the time that I'm making this video, we see at the top the red arrow shows that moving averages are uptrending with the shorter term blue above the longer term red. The MACD uh, indicator is showing again above zero, which is the thick black line here. And the histogram, these blue bars, are also above zero. So these are bullish signals as well. And finally, the stochastic oscillator, also mo a momentum indicator, is ascending. After having broken through the 20th percentile two times, which is a very bullish signal and all this occurred on average volume. So technically and fundamentally this stock proved to be a good stock for our system and also we find that there's no earnings report to interfere. So we go to our option chain and we take a look at the November chain first to see what it will cost us to exit our position. Now originally I sold the November $120 call the stock, as you could see circled in red at the time I'm making this slide, is selling at 125.30. And if we look down the options chain in the ask column, because we always buy at the ask and sell at the bid, it's, it says 660. So that's what it would cost me to close my position. Now, at the time that I actually went in, it went up another 10 cents. So I actually did buy it back at 670, as you'll see in a moment. Next, let's look at the December options chain to see what we will generate by now selling the December calls. And you can see from these three arrows, now we look, we sell at the bid, the uh, bid column, which I highlighted in yellow, and we could roll out to the same strike, the 120 strike, and generate $10 per share or $1,000 per contract. We could roll out and up to the 125 strike and generate 720 or we can even roll out even further to the 130 strike and generate five dollars. We'll concentrate on the first two, the 120 and the 125. 
So we next turn to the Elman calculator and we feed the information that we just got from the options chains. And you see here, I'm just going to use 100 shares, although at the time I owned uh, many more shares than that. But we'll keep it simple to 100 shares or one options contract. I originally purchased these at 115.50 and the current share price is 125.14 at the time I fed this information into the calculator. Now the 120 call was originally sold for 390. So you could see I generated over 3% for the November contract. Plus I made a nice uh, another a 450 on, per share on the stock value as well. But we're not concentrating on November. We're looking at the rolling out and the December. So the option value was 670 at the time I made this slide, which is 10 cents higher than when I made the slide for the uh, options chain. It was 660. We'll use 670 as our number. If we roll out to the 120 strike, we will generate $10. And if we roll out and up to the 125 strike, we will generate $7.20. Once we fill in these blue fields on the Elman calculator, the results are automatically calculated on the right side of the page. So what if I roll out? Well, we generate $1,000 per contract, and it will cost us $670 to roll out to close our short position for the November contracts. That's a net profit of $330. On a cost basis of $12,000 because at that point in time our shares are worth $120. That's the number I use, not 115. I use the 120 so I can compare it to other investment choices at that point in time. So that gives me a 2.75% one month return with downside protection of $514 per contract. Because remember, the stock was selling at 125.14 and I'm selling the 120 call. That $514 represents a 4.1% protection of the option premium, not of my total position, just of my option premium. What that means is I'm guaranteed a 2.75% one month return as long as the shares do not depreciate by more than 4.1% in the next one month. A good deal. If I was more bullish, I might want to roll out and up. In that case, I'm generating 720 and spending the same 670 for a $50 net profit on the option end, but I'm getting an unrealized gain in my share value from 120, the current strike I sold, to 125, the next month's strike I sold because it's currently trading slightly over that 125 strike. If at the end of the month, the stock is still trading higher than the 125 strike, then I will fully capture that $500, and that will give me a total return of $550 on the same $12,000 investment, or 4.58% one month return. <clears throat> so I'll roll out if I'm moderately bullish, if I'm somewhat concerned about a volatile market, even if I'm slightly bearish. I'll roll out and up if I'm very bullish and the market is supporting these trades. So <clears throat> once again, you're going to use rolling strategies when the value of your stock is higher than the current strike sold. The stock still meets your fundamental and technical requirements. There's no upcoming earnings report and the calculations meet your goals. Just another way blue collar investors can make money selling covered call options. So I thank you for listening to this video. I look to hear from you. Feel free to contact me at alan at thebluecollarinvestor.com. Visit my website, thebluecollarinvestor.com. I wish you all well in your investments. Take care, everybody.